So John, let's take a quick look at the range of products that people can buy from Maypole. Sure. Wow, this is a huge selection of product, John. It's absolutely brilliant. So Maypole, as you say, have gone from sort of trailer products yep. and have really evolved into this whole range of products. Yep. You know, caravan covers, electrical products, uh, all sorts of things. So let's take a look through some of them in more detail, shall we? Absolutely. Let's right, go let's, through. let's clear this away and have a little look. Hi, it's Matt here from That Leisure Shop. And today I am delighted to be joined by one of our suppliers and a good friend of ours. This is John, John Matthews from Maypole. John, hi. Hey, Matt, how you doing? You are right? Really well, it's great to have you. So we've all heard of Maypole. John's proudly donning the brand on his jacket and no doubt you've seen them in lots of camping and accessory shops. But today we're gonna to deep dive into who are Maypole and what actually are the products that they sell. So tell us a little bit about Maypole. When did the company start? Because it's so, a long time ago, isn't it? It's a really good question. The company started in 1969, a long time before I was born, born believe it or not, uh, and started uh, in a factory uh, in an area of Birmingham, hence the name Maypole. Ah. Uh, but back before they had the first factory, uh, the company started uh, in a kitchen in manufacture of wiring, wiring looms, and trailer boards, which is essentially where the company started from. Right, so when you say trailer board, I've yep. got one here. Now this is an LED light version. Yes, our latest LED version, yeah. Look at that, yep. new for the season, isn't it? Yeah, so and everybody will have seen on the motorway, on an A road, B road, touring around the UK, or in fact in Europe, one of these trailer boards. Yeah, no doubt you've followed a Maypole trailer board at some point in your life. And then of course, there's all the other towing accessories that Maypole are famous for. Yep. Towing boots, plugs, cables. I mean, yep. there's, there's hundreds of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We stock them all. Um, so this is the kind, of, the kind of bread and butter of what Maypole did. And then Absolutely. wiring looms for for trailers and lorries, is that right? Yeah, so the company's diversified hugely in the uh, 50 odd years that it's been going. Uh, we make uh, wiring harnesses for lorries, for commercial vehicles, uh, for trailers, which is a big part. So any trailer, you might see a UK or Irish uh, trailer company maybe using one of our wiring harnesses. Yeah. Uh, and they're used across the board on, on vehicles around, uh, around the UK and Ireland. Yeah, so, and then the company's evolved. Yes. Uh, away from this kind of towing and trailer, still very much this is mainstay. Yep. And what was the next thing the company evolved into? Do you remember? So automotive and believe it or not, welding and wiring. So uh, back in the 80s and 90s, welding and wiring. Yes. Yeah. So the company uh, got uh, uh, importing from China back in the early days of importing from China, uh, back when that uh, market sort of really grew. So importing products, things like gas, welding wire uh, back in the day when people started importing in volume from China. Um, so we bring stuff in uh, for automotive. So when you say automotive as well, yep. products like this, the classic jump leads, everyone needs a set of these in the shed. Yep. And when you need them, you need them in the boot of your car. Yep. <laughs> so these are jump leads, so the cr classic crocodile clip. Oh, this one's cable tied shut. Yep. But you know, that's a mainstay product for Maypole, isn't it? So when did the company move into the leisure industry? So we moved into leisure probably about 10 years ago. Uh, we right, saw okay. a huge growth in caravan and uh, motorhome. Uh, and some of the products, for example, like the, um, the booster cables, are used on motorhomes a lot when they go flat. So if you're on a campsite uh, or the side of the road, obviously you've got a problem, so booster cables. But we saw a transition of product uh, towards into that leisure market as there's been a huge growth uh, in caravan, but more in obviously motorhome, you'll know more than me, over the last five or 10 years, the growth in, in motorhome. Yeah. Uh, and we've really spent the last five years focusing on leisure products, uh, on that kind of camping, Volkswagen, uh, and obviously all the uh, other brands are available, but uh, that so Volkswagen space, which is huge. Let's some of the leisure products that we've got here to show you today. We've launched a, a very complimentary product to the range of, of leisure products that you saw, it's windbreaks. Windbreaks, yes. Are you going to say it? Are you, I know you're desperate to... Do the joke, Matt. Do the joke. <laughs> Joke's well, about breaking wind and windbreaks. They're, they're two a penny. Two dabs together. Like, <laughs> so. so we all know what a windbreak is. And, and Maypole actually do a big range of windbreaks, don't they? Inflated ones? How does an inflatable yeah. windbreak work? So this has been a huge new range of products for us this year. So we have a range of polled windbreaks and we have a range of inflatable uh, three and five pole Something for everybody uh, in that uh, space. 
effectively, again, came out the COVID period where people wanted to divide up their space on site. And that is still really applicable, Matt, really applicable, keeping uh, your space on site. Or uh, again, on the beach, uh, you want to keep your space uh, for you and your family and your loved ones. Um, but we have now a great range of um, windbreaks, uh, which you so have this, got. This is a polled one. So you yep. can see the picture here. And we'll cut away to some images as well. But these are brilliant. These have what's called a Kadar strip yep. down, down the edge. So you can actually slide them into your caravan awning strip and attach them to the caravan and build that wall around you um, from the caravan. And they come in a range of colours as well. There's grey, this lovely blue, and my favourite. Look at that. Right on brand here. Bright orange. Uh, and the inflatable ones, as you say, they're inflatable poles, aren't they? They are correct, yeah. You kind of the poles are inflated with a foot pump, and there's also an inflatable frame version, isn't there? There is, yeah. So we um, found that with the inflatables, um, they do take slightly longer to put up because obviously you do have to inflate each pole, and they do flex slightly in the wind. But that is actually quite a great feature because it will flex in the wind as opposed to blowing over. Yeah. So it'll flex and spring back into place. With the pole ones, obviously, really strong gust of wind. Um, they are guide, um, and they will hold up to quite a lot of wind but an inflatable one probably will flex in the wind um, as opposed to a pole one, which goes up quicker and obviously is a good uh, cost implication as well. These um, pole ones are really affordable, really good value. And as you, as you rightly say, that KDAR strip allows you to attach it to a caravan or a motorhome and give it a secure fitting point yeah. um, on the side of your vehicle. It makes so it easy to start off. It, it really does, yeah, one and, man per and one person This job. orange one is exclusive to that leisure shop. So if you want an orange windbreak, they're orange and grey, they are very, very cool, and you can get one at thatleisureshop.com. Products like this, which is a dead handy leisure product. Yep. Uh, it's an extension lead, essentially, isn't it, with a built-in light. Um, and campsites, people going tenting will be familiar with one of these. Yep. So this has an extension lead, and on the end of it are three sockets that you would use in the tent to power up the accessories. So this is kind of more recent product, isn't it, for, for Maypole? It is. It's probably the last five, ten years that we've gone into um, away from 12 volt and then across obviously into 230, 240 volts. Right, okay, yeah. um, incredibly important to make sure that uh, your 230, 240 volt is safe, is European certified and is of good quality. Uh, yeah. There is a huge amount of uh, Chinese products out there, um, some ships from China. We do all of our own in-house testing. So all of the products you see are in-house tested and they're tested generally in two or three different places in the UK, in Europe and in China. And we certify every single product on electricity because it's an important area. It's not something that you want to get wrong uh, and effectively electricity can uh, uh, hurt, damage or even obviously in extreme cases <laughs> kill you. Uh, uh, so it's important safety angles. Maypole is a company that is fastidious in safety. We are every single product is tested by numerous people, even down to the owner. Uh, of the company will test product out, he'll take it away uh, and he'll check it and make sure he's happy. If it fails on anything, we're not happy with it, we don't launch it, we, we don't uh, have that product. So every single product is fully, fully checked. And it's and worth certified. noting products like this are equipped with an RCD trip. They are. And they're IP44, which means yes. they're splash proof, aren't they? Correct. If they do get splashed in the rain, yep. or you spill something on them, then they're, you know that they're, they're going to be safe. Unlike some of this kind of cheaper equivalent that comes yep. into the UK. Yep. Cool. So leisure's become a big part of Maypole. The electrical side's still going really strong, going yep. gangbusters, but leisure's been certainly a big boom area, hasn't it? Yep. And some of the stuff that you know, we, we sell loads of these and they are brilliant. The covers. Um, this is a caravan top cover. This is, this is an innovative idea. It just covers the roof. So they're easy to put on, aren't they? It's a great, it's a great product. They estimate in the UK there's over half a million uh, caravans. And one of the biggest things we hear from caravan customers is they're really tricky to put a full cover on a caravan on your own. This product here, it is easier with two people, yeah. uh, but you can pop this on uh, with one person and it protects the worst bit of your roof uh, from the elements, from the rain, but also from things like uh, tree sap, which a lot of caravans in the autumn winter are parked up underneath uh, a tree. Uh, sky trees. Sky, sky, uh, sky, sky rat, the famous sky rats, yeah. And motor yeah. covers as well. And we were proud to be photographed, this is one of our motorhomes in our hire business, yep. being photographed with a cover on. Um, and 
in fact, I've happened to notice there is a tiny bit of our branding in some of the uh, <laughs> advertising literature that your designer forgot to Photoshop. We'll, have to, charge you you. we'll have to charge you for that later, Matt. So, uh... so this, again, is a topper cover <laughs> yep. from a motorhome. Exactly. And feedback from customers like yourself and from uh, end users. Uh, there was a big gap in the market to have uh, motorhomes covered exactly the same way. Yeah. And we are one of the only companies that offer a top cover for your motorhome in exactly the same way covered from the worst of the elements in the winter and from uh, yeah, seagulls and uh, uh, other animals uh, may apply here, but yeah, to keep the worst <coughs> of the elements off your roof. And yeah. again, yeah, tree sap um, and the dirt just builds up on your roof. It's a real tough job to clean your roof out in, in the spring. These top covers will keep the worst of that du uh, dust and dust. And they're available in a range of sizes, aren't they? So Yeah, uh, we cover pretty much every major size so. of caravan and motorhome uh, in the UK. One camper van cover so this yep. is for a vw t25 t3 t4 t5 t6 yep um, so this is kind of the smallest one and yep. then there's a five and a half meter as the next jump up so we do um yeah we do a smaller one for the old classic uh, your bus type campers and then this one covers effectively every other type of vw um bus this is the second revision this is revision two and we've made some nice uh, uh, amendments to this one so if you look in the corners You've got reflective um, taping, uh, so if obviously it's dusky or it's the middle of the night if you had it parked up somewhere. But this is great for covering your uh, pride and joy in the winter. Some people even use it in the summer. We've had the Saharan uh, dust uh, recently, which is an absolute um, pig to clean your uh, 60, 70, 80 grand uh, motor caravan or camper van in this case. This will keep the dust off your vehicle, keep it nice and looking nice and fresh, summer or winter. So. Let's tackle the elephant in the room, right? Covers. Okay. <laughs> a top cover yes. is probably not going to scratch my caravan. Nope. A whole cover, yep. there is a whole school of thought yep. that says a cover will damage your caravan or motorhome. Yep. It will scratch it and it will cause it to get damp. It yep. will hold moisture and it will create humidity inside and it will cause damp, which is the motorhome and caravan's worst enemy. Absolutely. Talk to me about that. So our full covers are four ply material. The inner ply material is a really soft, uh, non-abrasive material. Uh, before we launched covers as a company, we did extensive testing on covers, and there were some materials which we didn't consider were suitable. Uh, we put caravans on the edge of cliffs and we had it blowing around, and we are very, very comfortable uh, that that inner material will not uh, damage or scratch uh, your, your pride and joy. And we have tens of thousands of customers uh, who would testify to that, that they've put their cover on uh, and have had no issues um, whatsoever. In terms of the breathability, uh, our material as a four ply uh, totally breathes so that the, through the elements and through the time uh, that it's on, um, air can permeate through that material. So the vehicle effectively can breathe whilst your cover is on throughout the winter. And again, we've done extensive testing with our covers uh, we have many people that uh, have gone through three or four covers in their time. It's a product we've done for about 10 or 15 years now, Matt, uh, and uh, we've got all of that history now with our covers. We keep evolving it, and our new covers now, the last couple of years, we've just evolved it again with reflective tape in the corners from feedback from customers, and we've made them larger, which has been a big trend, especially with caravans. Mm. Caravans are getting wider and they're getting longer. Uh, and we've evolved our product now to cover those larger caravans. Right, and, and I have to say, I have used a full cover on our motorhome, and we have had no, and our caravan actually, and we have had absolutely no issue yep. with it scratching the paint. Uh, the motorhome is a van, so it's metal, so it's quite prone yep. and easy to be scratched. Uh, the caravan obviously is, is made of a plastic covering, um, as any caravan is, and there's no evidence at all of it being scratched, and actually no sign of it being damp at all. So we always have a habitation check done at the end of the winter. It's very wise. Covered up, uh, and we will use them during the winter, but we, in fact, we have, a, we have a Bailey caravan, and it's quite old, and the habitation engineer said, if you're ever selling this, Matt, let me know, because this is one of the best condition Baileys I've ever done a hab check on. Yeah, it, it's a really good point, Matt, that... Um, Caravans especially, uh, through the worst of the elements in the winter, a cover is going to protect your van uh, from the worst of the elements. And that can be uh, rain, sleet or snow, uh, obviously yeah. through, through the winter. So a full cover or a top cover is going to give you some protection for your 
for your fine joint. The protection I see as, a, as an owner of a motorhome caravan storage business is security. Yep. Um, it will deter a thief. So in a row of caravans or motorhomes that, where there's some with covers on, the thief is highly unlikely to target that vehicle, yep. aren't they? And they will, sadly, just sad but true, they will just move on yeah, to, you, the, to the next one. Again, with a full cover, you can't see through the windows. So okay. it's a really good point when you're walking past, if you've got two caravans, one with a cover and one without, that van obviously without a cover, you can look straight in through the windows. If you're yeah. storing anything in that van, it's going to be yeah, visually uh, accessible for a thief. Uh, yeah, especially and, on a storage site. And people leave the blinds down. I mean, it's a whole different topic. This. Yeah, yeah. The blinds down stretches the springs in the roller coaster. Yeah. So you come back and it, the blind goes up really slowly. So a cover is an effective way of covering up the content. So if you've left an awning in it, you've left your TV in it, you just, you just can't see it. Um, so I think they're a really, really good idea. And this is a great kind of halfway house. Yep. Yeah, for me, putting the cover on, I do have to do it on my own, and it is a pain. It's yep. a lot of work. The toppers are much easier to fit. And as you say, with two people, dead easy, yep. but possible with one. And they're much quicker to fit. So if you've been away for the weekend, you just want to park it, you know you're not going to go to it for a few weeks. Uh, and putting the top cover on is dead easy. Uh, and the straps are, all, straps are all adjustable as well, aren't they? All adjustable, yeah. You've got multiple points where you can put the straps. A lot of flexibility in there. Um, fix every modern type of caravan. Or again, yeah. on the motorhome, uh, will be covered um, with one of our top covers. And very affordable. Check the website for the latest price. They're often on offer as well. Um, they're a popular item as we come out of the summer, aren't they? So yep. September, October, um, they're very popular. So stocks can go you know, out of stock. Um, so I would, there's always a good time to buy a cover. Um, and we've got loads of them in stock right now, ready for October. So don't leave it until the end of the summer because you might struggle to get hold of one. So security, we were talking about security. Yep. Let's look at some of the security products that Maypole are famous for. Great. So I've cheated and this is already on the desk because it's heavy. This is a wheel clamp and here we've got a steering lock. Now, the double hook twin bar steering wheel lock. Um, I would say on these, check the size of your steering wheel. Yep. Uh, there are some Fiat Ducatos which have a big steering wheel, particularly the older model. And this is very slightly too small, I found. Uh -huh. uh, but it will fit all of the newer models, Peugeot, Citroen, Ford Transit, and they are brilliant. They're a fantastic visual deterrent. Um, and of course, the wheel clamp, yep. um, which I think is an essential for any motorhome or caravan. Um, tell us about this. This has got a special categorization, isn't it? So, yeah, Stronghold is uh, under the umbrella of Maypole. It's one of our sub brands that we have in the company. Um, we've kept it as a separate brand because the majority, if not all, of our Stronghold products, Matt, uh, is insurance approved. Uh, we also send it for independent testing. Uh, sold secure. If you want to read up uh, on the website, there's a really good uh, section on our website all about sold secure. But we actually don't just say our product is great. We actually send it to an independent house. You can't bribe them. Uh, not that we've tried, but you can't bribe them. They are an independent house and they're um, certified by the police in the UK. Uh, and they independently test uh, all of our products and give it the uh, stamp of sold secure. So effectively insurance approved. Um, some, some insurance companies uh, will make a real feature um, of the product. Others don't shout about it, so you may need to get in touch with your insurance company. Um, but all of our Stronghold product has been independently tested um, and you'll find that uh, for insurance purposes, in the unlikely event that your vehicle obviously is tampered with, uh, or what worse obviously is stolen, um, that the, either the hitch lock uh, or the wheel clamp, or combination of the two, which is quite smart these days uh, to have a combination of the two, uh, is all insurance approved product. Yep. Off the back of that, we recognise not everybody wants to spend um, a large amount on, say, a cheap motor caravan or a, a cheap uh, caravan. Some people have got a caravan that's only worth a few hundred pounds. Um, so we offer a, another range of product, which is under the Maple brand, and that's more affordable, uh, shall I say, a yeah, good value uh, product. Again, we use the same factories, we use the same kind of components, um, but we don't send uh, all of that product for uh, insurance approval. Uh, and, um, but it will give a really good visual deterrent. It'll certainly slow a thief uh, down um, and hopefully will deter them. And back to your um, a really good point on covers. If there's two uh, caravans or uh, cars or motor homes uh, with security products on them, it's more likely the one with nothing on it is the one that's going to be damaged, tampered with or, or, or stolen. So um, we have a range of product under the Maypole, again, hitch locks, wheel clamps under the Maypole brand. But if you are looking for insurance approved products, Stronghold is the name to, to look out for. 
uh, a real market leader, uh, 15, 20 years in the marketplace. So when you say lower cost wheel clamp, you mean something like one of these? Yep. The universal wheel clamp. So these come in a couple of sizes, don't they? This is the motorhome car one. Yep. Um, and uh, these are ideal for up to a 16 inch wheel, 15 inch wheel in my experience. Yep. Uh, it says 17, but it does depend on the width of the tire. And if your wheel is bigger than that, then you need to step up to one of these, I would say. Absolutely, yeah, you need um, some more commercial or, or uh, yeah. yeah, commercial vehicle. And we've got a whole pallet of these, haven't we? These are actually branded A2 yep. stock. Um, and they are half the retail price. They've got <coughs> tiny, tiny little blemishes on, paint scratches, weld splashes. So while stocks last, these are really, really cheap. They're less than 20 quid on there. And they're, they are that deterrent that you need to make a thief just walk past. Brilliant. So sticking with security, this is a great little product, the corner steady leg lock for a caravan or a motorhome really. Um, if you're not familiar with this, uh, the, the corner steadies that you wind down to get the caravan level or steady your motorhome, you can then fit these to the nut that you use to wind them up and down and there's a keyed lock on them. So you, when you're storing the caravan away, my advice is always raise the hitch up really high with the corner steadies, that means the water's gonna run off the roof. Fit these, and then the caravan can't be lowered to be hitched onto a car to tow it away. And then sticking with useful products, there's a whole range of lighting, isn't there? This is new for the season. Yep. Um, and we've did a whole video on these. These are um, magnetic base work lights, um, and they are incredibly bright under, in the studio lights here. I don't know how bright you can see that, but gosh, that, that's, that's bright. Is that bright? Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they are a really handy work light that you can clip under a bonnet or onto a wall. And there's a phone charger in it as well, isn't Yeah, it? so it works as a power bank, which is really handy if you are uh, wild camping, uh, off grid, you can charge up your smartphone uh, or iPad, etc. Uh, um, but uh, it's magnetic, so you can stick it onto the side of a camper van. Uh, I've used mine when I've been out camping. Uh, just stuck a couple on the side of the camper van for a late night. Uh, drink and or under the engine, which is where the product came from, Matt. Um, we use these for right. mechanics. Uh, you've pulled up the side of the road, it's midnight, and you've got a problem with your engine. Uh, less uh, common these days, but if you have got a problem, obviously you can use that light, stick it under the bonnet. Uh, most uh, bonnets uh, still are uh, metallic, obviously, and uh, the magnet yeah. will just let you attach that wherever you want to uh, yeah, attach it on that. They magazine. are really strong magnets, yep. very good. Um, and it does rotate and twist in every direction. Yep. Uh, if you watch the product video on this, you'll see that I discover that it turns in every direction in that video, despite believing it doesn't, anyway. Also clips on that, just another little silly little thing, but uh, we did this so that it will clip onto uh, an awning. So for caravanners especially, we've got your caravan awning, you'll notice right. that uh, C-clip there. So you can actually clip that onto the pole uh, in a caravan awning. Uh, again, there's over half a million of those caravanners out there. Um, so uh, yeah, you can clip that, uh, clip that onto a pole, uh, obviously upright like so, or even at the side, obviously, and just move it around inside a caravan awning. Uh, this, this time of year, and especially. And USB rechargeable. Um, USB. So I actually, for the purposes of today, yep. I've had this on charge for half an hour and it's working straight away. How long it will last? Right? I don't know. I don't know what the charge time is. Uh, it charge time is about two hours right. uh, to charge it up and then that should give you somewhere between four to eight hours of Perfect. lighting, which again is uh, an all-night party. Is that it? An all-night party? All-night party, yeah, Matt, yeah. Yes. So <laughs> this is one of my favourite products. This looks like a laser gun. Um, it's actually a 12 volt handheld air compressor. Yep. In the city near us here in, in Bristol, there are loads of cars having their tires let down. So it's uh, protesters walking through the streets of Bristol and letting the tires down on cars which they deem to be inappropriate in a city. So they consider them to be polluters. Um, and it's, a, it's not a very pleasant campaign for the owners of the cars. And we have sold several of these to people on one particular street who would go out in the morning and they've got their you know, people carrier that they're about to take the kids to school in uh, and it's a you know five six mile trip to get them there so too far for the kids to walk and they've got two flat tires so these have been really useful for that they're 12 volt plug in a cigarette lighter pump the tires up really really quickly in fact there's one here out of the box being a really popular product for us Matt and again we we do two versions of these uh, we do a 12 volt cigarette lighter version yeah um, obviously those are really great value uh, you can plug that in and get around your uh, four wheels um, around your vehicle yeah. and we also do now um, a lithium-ion rechargeable version um, so a step up from that 
Um, but again, more versatile, especially on a campsite, obviously, where you want to get further afield. We put a quite a nice long cable on uh, on these ones, but if you want to get further afield, obviously, with your uh, charger, we do a couple now of lithium ion rechargeable inflators. And that's a inflators. smart air pump, isn't so we it? We do, yeah, we do a smart air pump, yeah. So that's the smart air pump. This one? That's the one, as if by magic, we have yeah, the smart yeah. air pump. Really great product. This is a brand new product for us um, for this year, Matt. Um, so really, really versatile. We're saying we're in 2022, aren't we, as we record this? We are in 2022, so, yeah. So they're really nicely packaged. Yeah, attention detail is key again with packaging. It's really good, really good. I'm gonna turn it on. There we are. Yep. Now we did do a test on one of these and we had a car outside that had a flat tire. Yep. Uh, and it did do a brilliant job of pumping the car up. It, it took about 20 minutes to inflate it from flat, didn't it? I'm looking at Jordan behind the camera. Um, but it was absolutely brilliant. And the, the great thing with these is they just live in the glove box, don't they? They're tiny. Yeah. Um, so we brought this out for predominantly for the um, bicycle, e-bike, um, and electric scooter market. But you are quite right, Matt. This will do a car or a motorhome. It goes right up to 150 PSI. Um, so this will do right up to a motorhome wheel, not quickly, because obviously the size of it, it's a, no, it's it's a small compressor. Yeah. But it's the big key thing with this one is its versatility. It's really, really handy to keep, as you said, in, in your glove box. Uh, you can inflate anything from beach balls, footballs, um, it basketballs. Comes, it comes with this, doesn't it, for the football? All of your adapters, yeah. I've used that one with my uh, young lad uh, at football camp um, for inflating up footballs, which is uh, a... a, a a, uh, a timely thing at um, the best of times um, yes. with a, a young family with um, sporting equipment. But I've also used it a lot with bicycles. If you've got a family like me, a family of four, uh, every time I go to my bicycle, at least one or two of those um, tyres need inflating. Uh, and before you're out of puff on the actual cycle ride, uh, you can use this uh, to just quickly check round those tyres before you set off on your cycle. Yeah, brilliant. So sticking with power. Yep. This is a great little product, these 300 amp uh, lithium iron power packs. So this will charge your phone, any accessory. It will even start your car. Won't it, it will, yep. Um, so it comes with crocodile clips. Um, and have a look at this product. This is a, a 300 lithium iron power pack. You'll find it in the shop. Um, and there's a video there of us testing this where we start a car that's completely flat. Uh, and they sit in the palm of your hand, a brilliant little product. Mm -hmm. uh, again, new for this season, aren't they? They are, yep. Uh, and here in front of us, these are brilliant. These are some of my favorite Maypole products. A whole range of smart battery chargers. Um, yeah, putting a battery on charge is something we have to do from time to time, uh, but you need to know that the battery's not being overcharged. Um, and if you connect a battery to a battery charger for very long lengths of time, if it's not a smart <coughs> charger, then it can cause damage to the battery. So these all have a smart facility in them or smart function, don't they? So uh, a trickle charge, a booster charge. Oh gosh, there's a whole range um, of benefits in these. Tell us about this, John. This, these are genius. So really good question, Matt. Um, during lockdown, obviously, uh, we saw a huge uh, spike in growth in charges just per se uh, across the market with people parking out their vehicles. Um, and it gave us some time to look at brand new products um, working forward. So the product just picked up there is a smart Bluetooth battery tester or battery monitor, uh, for want of a better word. Uh, and this will let you from your smartphone, whether it's um, Android uh, or um, iOS, uh, iPhone, um, this will let you from a smartphone look at the state of your battery. Now that could be your engine battery. So Predominantly, say on a camper van, you could look at the state of the engine battery, but also you can put one of these onto your leisure battery or leisure batteries. So you could have effectively two or three of these little devices monitoring uh, your battery or batteries uh, on your vehicle. And the number one uh, killer or damage of batteries is being left flat for a long period of time. And a long period is actually only days or weeks, Matt. So a couple of weeks of a flat battery you're off to spend 100, 150 pounds plus on a new battery. This little device here will let you monitor and look at the state of those, of the state of charge yeah. of those batteries, which are very applicable obviously in lockdowns, but also for leisure vehicles where you may have a camper van parked up on your driveway, um, uh, parked up for long periods of time. You may just forget uh, that you've not charged it for a while, especially an engine battery uh, where you've parked up your motor caravan. Um, and this will let you just very quickly, within seconds, 
log into the app, which is a free download, uh, and check the status of that um, battery, and then charge it up, which obviously will lead into the companion product, which is just here, yep. um, which is our Bluetooth smart charger. Yeah. So the two of these kind of tandem work together. Uh, this has a smart connecting lead inside, as does this. The two are male and female, they go together. Um, so if you have found out that your battery does need a charge, you can leave a little tail out, say, of the engine space of the, um, uh, of the bonnet, uh, and just plug it in with that connector, and then start charging up that battery within seconds. This one also has that same Bluetooth technology built into it, uh, and that will allow you, again, to leave the, the uh, unit on charge, and then monitor the status of that charge. When it gets to 100%, it's not going to do any damage because it will flick into a trickle mode. So effectively, it will leave your battery just in a float or trickle mode. But you can see that then from the app, and then at your convenience, obviously unplug it uh, and take it away. And it's worth saying these are 12 volt and 24 volt. Aren't they, they are, so yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, a fleet of lorries. Uh, applicable for lorries and commercial vehicles, which where you kind of cross over onto that kind of motorhome side for cars and also motorbikes. Um, yeah. You know, we, we get people obviously purchasing these for their motorbike that's parked up in the garage. And then also things like lawnmowers. You know, a lot of modern yeah. lawnmowers have got um, electrics built into it. Um, and the one you missed off as well is six volts. So it's six volt, 12 volt, and 24 you're volt. You're right. Yep. So I can put this on my Austin 7. You could put it on your Austin 7, yet. Yeah. Uh, you could put it on but your the classic limitate, vintage. There is limited, they're Bluetooth, aren't they? So you need to be within the range. You need to be within the sensible range. Depends on the weather conditions um, of what's going on. You need to be within the sensible range, but it is generally a quite a long way away. Yeah, yeah, but um, I mean, if you're in your caravan, 20 miles away is not going to work it's, that, is it? it's not going to work there but it, it, the classic would be say at the end of your driveway at home yeah. from the comfort of your armchair you can check your vehicles and you can have multiple and you can assign names says. so yes you're right, right there Matt you can have up to 20 uh, different units all assigned with a name so you could have your car your motorbike your mobility scooter your whole fleet of vehicles and from the comfort of your armchair you can check the status of all of those batteries uh, in your fleet of vehicles. So I'm pleased to say I don't need a mobility scooter yet, but um, for the for the range of cars I've got... It'll happen, Matt. It, it'll happen. <laughs> it'll, come. <laughs> it'll come. Not too long, I'm sure. But <laughs> for, for the motorbike, for the caravan, and, and, and it does lead acid, AGM, and gel battery. Yeah, so all and of the modern... charge all three types as well. Correct, yeah, so all the modern that. types of, uh, of battery. But to say, it, it, look at this as an investment. I think it's probably the best way of saying to it on, on our chargers, it's an investment because one of these is a lot cheaper than a brand new battery yeah. or batteries. Mm. And if you need three new leisure batteries, great business for you, but obviously as a seller of batteries, but um, this will prevent and extend the lifespan of your battery. If you keep it charged up, keep it in optimum condition, you will get years longer life out of your leisure yeah. or, or um, automotive I have battery. To say I think it's one of the best gadgets, new gadgets of the season. I think, I think they're genius. Yep. Uh, really clever, well done Maypole, great bit of innovation there. So that about concludes our whistle stop tour of just some of the products that Maypole stock. But John, you were telling me earlier that the markets you're in, just you know, just to wrap up, tell us what other markets are Maypole in? We've got automotive, Yep. you mentioned marine as well. So yeah, so we supply a lot of product into the marine industry. So uh, anybody building boat trailers will be buying Maypole products. Um, which obviously goes on the back of things like light boards, but also things like rollers for boats, lighting, all of those boats that are pulled uh, around the UK. Uh, and then down to things like little yacht dinghies uh, onto, the, onto the beach. So we do wheels and tyres uh, for the uh, marine side of the business. Um, and then off the back of that, as well as obviously things like trailers, Matt. So um, we are a huge distributor of trailers, which obviously you are an authorised dealer for our, our um, trailers. So we have a couple of brands uh, uh, in amongst that. So we have um, Erdi, which is a French company which we distribute all of their products in the UK and Ireland. Right. Uh, and then we have our own trailers, um, Maypole trailers, which again, most people will have seen either a Maypole or an Erdi trailer uh, being towed around uh, the UK. And we distribute through partners like yourself. And these aren't just camping trailers, you, you sell a motorbike trailer. So we do a motorbike trailer, which is, yeah, for, for pulling your uh, pride and joy across on the back of a motor caravan. Got one, You've yeah. got one, yeah, uh, uh, or off to shows or events, obviously, we do motorbike trailers. We do a range of camping trailers, and then we do a range of um, sort of larger trailers, which kind of cross over into that kind of building, agricultural use, um, larger trailers, all unbraked. We don't do brake trailers, 
but all of our trailers are unbraked um, trailers which are used uh, across the UK. And tell me, one of your light boards was recently made famous by... It was. A few, yeah, a few years ago we were featured, uh, you might have heard of it, Gavin and Stacey. Uh, we had a lovely clip at the end of one of the series, uh, Ness being towed in a trailer to her wedding, which is, a, hopefully got a clip somewhere, but um, it's a really funny clip. But uh, yeah, you'll see one of our white trailer boards uh, being on the back of a flat-packed uh, bride to be being towed to the church with uh, with um, Corden and uh, Ness, uh, uh, that famous series. So a bit of yeah. fun, but uh, yeah, oh, we yeah. do get featured uh, uh, on TV and adverts. Yeah, well, it's been a brilliant insight into what is an unwittingly known as a household brand. Yep, uh, and no doubt you'll see it next time you're on a campsite or in a caravan camping shop. And if you need any of these types of products, then definitely. Look at the Maypole range. John, thank you ever so much for coming in. Absolute pleasure, Matt. Thanks for your time. It's been great fun. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Yeah, great. Cheers. Thanks, Bella. Cheers.